Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality. In a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the Royal Park Hotel is one of the leaders in French cuisine in Japan. Among the limited number of chefs who have beaten our Iron Chefs, two are from this place. And one great chef is behind the winds. His record is impressive. He helped open the Hotel Okura and headed the kitchens of top hotels. The man, Mitsuo Shimamura. This big name in French cuisine in Japan has sent in another challenger. The man who apprenticed directly under Shimamura, absorbing all the skills and philosophy of his mentor. He has collected many medals at famous contests, and now he is considered Shimamura's right-hand man. He designs creative dishes of his own. You could call it good planning. You might say he plans better than anyone else. And he has been that way since he was much younger. He's a natural. Fully endorsed by Shimamura, decorated for excellence in achievement, we must check him out. Today's challenger is the right-hand man of Mitsuo Shimamura from the Royal Park Hotel, head chef Tetsuji Iyo. He entered the field of cooking at age 18. He succeeded in apprenticing under Shimamura, the master. Soon his skills and senses were polished by Shimamura, thus enabling him to win many world-class contests. I was able to meet many of the top chefs from around the world. I feel extremely fortunate to have brushed elbows with those people. And truly, I learned a lot from those contests. When the Royal Park Hotel opened, he was appointed head chef. His works are very intricate, just like his master's. All the flavors are controlled through fine calculation. So now, Io, as the right-hand man of your mentor, start a new legend of your own. I'm going to use all my artistic senses and do my best.
日本のフレンチを常にリードしてきたロイヤルパークホテル料理長島村光男その島村の右腕と呼ばれる男がやってまいりました緻密な計算で世界中のコンクールを制する ID 料理の申し出さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください箱崎ロイヤルパークホテルシェフ飯尾哲司 Alright the grand chef of the Royal Park Hotel Mitsuo Shimamura leading the way into Kitchen Stadium for his top man challenger Tetsuji Eo The Royal Park's a respected name in Japan Many of the country's best hotels have turned to Shimamura for advice in their fine dining operations The challenger comes highly endorsed and the hotels won here twice before Hello thank you for inviting us Yes, these are from presidents of various countries. Yes, he is the very best among all my chefs. I trust him 100%. Well, I'm going to do my best. Yes. So, I'm going to do my best. Yes. So, I'm going to do my best. Yes. The men who dominate the culinary landscape of Japan, the Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese, Masaharu Morimoto. Before our very eyes, what new trend begins today? So, Iyo-san. Morimoto-san, please. It's Morimoto. The Iron Chef Japanese will be the one under the gun of the French cuisine experts. Masaharu Morimoto, the top chef at Nobu, the world-renowned Japanese restaurant in New York, winning a devoted following for his originality and creativity in breaking with traditions of Japanese cuisine. He thoroughly beat back the challenge of the Ota faction, and he's already getting pumped up for this cross-cuisine battle. Kill off. 大物挑戦者にふさわしい豪華な食材を用意しました今が旬のまさにカニの王様一杯3万円の極上物それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマはタラバガニ The Royal Park Hotel again represented in Kitchen Stadium, Challenger EO going for the hotel's third win over an Iron Chef. Morimoto won't have to worry about any Japanese cuisine traditionalists, but he'll have to contend with a tough French cuisine foe with $3,000 worth of king crab in the tank. On it, cuisine! Opening gong and we're underway and the cheering from the Challenger's supporters. He's part of one of the top French cuisine teams in the country over there at the Royal Park and they've got a good turnout up in the Royal Box today and the men grabbing a hold of these monster king crab. I've never seen any bigger in my life. Doc, these guys are unbelievable. Yeah, they're huge, aren't they? Why is king crab so expensive? I don't know. Uh, wh why is that, Doc? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know that people are picking them up at these prices and all that, but just what makes it, makes it so expensive? Well, basically, supply and demand is, is what it is. The catches okay. have been diminished, but the demand is still high, so therefore the prices go up. We're talking economics 101. So it's a rare item, eh? Well, there you have it. And now let's introduce our guests for this king crab battle. First, the brand new manager of the Hanshin Tigers baseball team, Katsuya Nomura. Hi, nice to be here. Nomura-san, needless to say, you'll certainly make things interesting this season in the Central League. <laughs> and the schedule's just been released. Yeah, first series against the Giants. Yeah. You and Nagashima. I tell you what, you're the king for the day with this crab. Sounds good. Let's talk more about Hanshin later as we move along. I hope you can put some tiger in their tank this year. <laughs> okay. And also joining us today is actress Hiromi Nagasaku. Pleasure to be here. You were here for the Nato battle with Morimoto. Yes. And that was your first time here. What's your impression of our Iron Chef Japanese? Oh, very innovative dishes. Yes. I now watch this show more closely to see his creations, and today I'm thrilled to be back. And I'm spilling the beans. You have a chef's license. Oh, don't mention that. <laughs> so we'll expect some comments on cooking techniques from you and from manager Nomura, comments on competing to win. So it's good to have both of you in here today. Thank you. And of course, our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Always a pleasure. Fukuzan? Ota, from the floor. Go ahead. The Iron Chef already has his rice cooker going. Iron Chef, you uh, said? That's right. 
All right, Iron Chef, rice and cooker Fukusan, going. Go ahead. Yeah, the Iron Chef says his strategy today is to use Manager Nomura's new catchword for this season, top, T for tarabagani, king crab, O for oishiku, or delicious, and P for good presentation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's trying to win you over already. <laughs> the witty man. <laughs> top, I'm surprised he knew that living in New York. The it Tigers. also means we're shooting for the top. And good luck there. Fukusan. Go ahead. I'm still on the Iron Chef's side, where he's been collecting a kind of liquid that comes from crab meat into a pot over here, but I don't have any information as to what he's going to use it for mm, yet. The liquid? Yes, uh-huh. Uh, right. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, okay, this clear a, golden liquid here. A considerable amount there, too. Yeah, you can get a lot from a crab. Definitely, that is a, a lot. lot of liquid there. And look, he is already pouring that onto some plates. Well, as is, you mean? Should possess a good flavor, mm -hmm. I, I would imagine. Well, no doubt there. And if we can look at the challenger, he's using laurel leaves or bay leaves and thyme and others and inserting them into the legs. Well, check this out. I've never seen this before. You know, charbroiling this would be perfect. Oh, that sounds so appetizing. Yeah, charbroiling crab meat is great. Mm, charred in shell, too. Especially with those herbs. Oh, yeah, exactly. Fukuisan. Yes, Ota. I just got some comments from the challenger's boss, Grand Chef Shimamura, on the importance of data or information in cooking. And he says intuition and inspiration are very important, but in cooking, it's more important to learn all the conventional recipes. If you do that by combining them, your potential becomes infinite. Knowledge and data are essential. Philosophy of the mentor, how about in baseball, Nomura-san? I think your previous team, the Swallows, I dare say catcher Furuta learned your baseball philosophy. <laughs> now you've got the Tigers. Well, see, simply having more information is sure good, but the job is, is how to create something out of it. Uh, right. I believe that, too, in baseball. Okay. Fukuisan? Yes. The challenger talking about uh, the strategy that he will be employing in this battle says, by analyzing the past Iron Chef shows that I've seen, I think the key to winning is creating combinations of innovative flavors and tastes that people are familiar with. If I can do that, I'll be on top. All right, it. he's picked up the right idea from his analysis in here, flaming. Yeah, I believe the challenger's using a lot of, I believe it's vermouth and vinegar. Fukuzan? Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. And you're seeing the flames from the alcohol here, which are broiling a blend of blue crab and king crab leg meat in this pot. A blend? Yes, uh huh. And he's also using brandy. And some broth. And Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, when I asked the challenger why he's using the blue crab as well, he told me that by combining different crabs, you get a multiplying effect in flavor and mm. body. It's a method that is based on his data and experience. Analysis of the data and his experience, impressive. And as Shimamura stresses, can't get enough data. That'll be great to see what EO comes up with today. I have to think he's making a crab broth here. Strictly French? It's a broth, a base for crab sauce. Mm. But my, oh my, for a broth, look, there is quite a load of crab in that one. Yeah, that is amazing, and isn't it? And now back to the Iron Chef side. Fukuisan. Go. Yeah, what the Iron Chef has here, what he's placing in this pan, are king crab legs wrapped in kelp. Okay, mm. kelp wrapping. All right, packing in pan. Now, you know, as fresh as this is, he's probably going to serve this as sashimi. Raw crab. Yeah. And the dip? What, soy and vinegar, maybe? That would be the logical guess, yeah. Or you could actually steam them. Okay, go ahead, Ota. Yeah, I spoke with Chef Shimamura a little more about the challenger, and he mentioned that he's a champion of many contests. Champions don't lose, he says. Trust me, I, I know what I'm talking about. I trust him 100% every day. It's hard to argue with a man with that many medals on his I'll chest. I tell you what, he looks like a decorated military officer there with all those medals, and we have it on good authority that the late Emperor Showa was a fan of his cooking. And as noted in the pregame, He's played an important role when many hotels here have opened up. Shimamura is one of the most important figures in French cuisine in Japan, and his right-hand man is the challenger today. Fukuisan? Go. Yeah, let me give you the list of ingredients the challenger has in this pot. Butter, white sauce, okay. the mix of blue crab and king crab, vermouth, onions, carrots, and tomatoes. All of this make up the broth to which he has also added more king crab meat. All right, got it. Fukuisan? Go. Yeah, let me give you a list of ingredients the challenger has in this pot. Butter, okay. white sauce, the mix of blue crab and king crab, vermouth, onions, carrots, and tomatoes. All of this make up the broth to which he has also added more king crab meat. All right, got it. If he rolls them up and fries them, it's a croquette. Well, huh, hmm. crab meat croquette. Or cream crab croquette. That is a possibility, because remember, he talked about upholding familiar flavor as well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay, sounds like it'll work. Fukuisan. Yes. Yeah, continuing on the challenger side, where he has a pot that he's using to boil something very dark. Can you see it here? Okay, right This there. is a mixture of shallots, black rice, and consomme. And when I asked him why he used black rice, he said, because it has the same texture as glutinous rice, which I want, and it also helps draw out the natural sweetness of the crab. Okay, if challenger EO says so, I'll buy it. And, and Fukuisan. Now, yes, go ahead. Yeah, this is interesting. For 
from Iron Chef Morimoto. This pot contained the clear crab liquid that we talked about earlier. He poured some of wow. it into soup bowls, but the rest he had simmering all this time, and this is what's left over. This? Mm. Yeah, this is the boiled dry crab meat uh, liquid. Never seen anything like it. Well, let me tell you, if you dry that further, you get crystals because the salt content is very high. Wow. That's interesting. Hmm. So this will be very salty in taste. See how it's kind of shining there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's, I mean, that's incredible. It looks like salt. Amazing. Yeah, I think he wanted to create a, a special salt, basically. It looks like some popcorn nubs or something. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely for the saltiness. Okay. Fukuzan, what do you have? Yeah, speaking of the Iron Chef, he's now grilling sand and gravel in the oven. When I asked him, what, what on earth are you doing? No pun intended. He replied, sorry, I can't tell you right now. Come back later. Mm -hmm. Sand? I can't see anything. Is it inside there? Yes, it is. All right, well, what in tarnation is he up to with that? Well, he could yes. be putting the crab legs onto heated gravel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, as usual, the Iron Chef is unusual here. Morimoto <laughs> being Morimoto, going against the man who calls up his database of French cuisine cooking, Tetsuji Io from the Royal Park Hotel in Tokyo. The chef's now locked in a king crab battle. And if you take a look at Io right now, the stuff he's adding here are truffles and I think Pistachios, but I'm, I'm not on pistachios. Sure. Go. Hattori-san is exactly right. This does contain pistachios, together with ground fish meat, egg white, salt, pepper, and vermouth. All right. Well, got one right. A and ground fish meat? Huh. I think you'll be adding crab meat as well. And what else? Fukuzan. All right, take it. I asked the challenger to analyze Iron Chef Morimoto based on his data, and he said, well, I've seen some of the battles that he lost, where mm. he clearly tried to do too much, tried to be too different, committing suicide, basically. But I know that he can do wonders with crab, so today I've got to try and somehow read his mind. Nomura, how about it in baseball? Can that hurt trying to read too much? Oh, yeah, just like the old Japanese saying, a tactician can be drowned by his own tactics. Sometimes the best way is just not to think anything. Just strap it on and go, huh? Okay, <laughs> I think I see kimchi here. Yes, Iron Chef's side. Worldwide cuisine in action. Yeah, he does that often. And the kimchi partnered with the kelp-wrapped crab for what, though? I, I don't know. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, I asked the Iron Chef about matching kimchi and crab meat, and he said, don't you know there's a kimchi in Korea using blue crab called keijang? I really like that match between the crab sweetness and the hot and spicy kimchi. Hmm. Oh. Okay, Kajan. Mm. Now, if we can check out the challenger. All right. He's got a mix of ground fish meat, crab, and pistachios, and truffles, I believe, in okay, this. Okay, look, going for sausage? What, sausage? Oh, pistachios okay. should add an interesting texture here. Oh, and yeah. Whoa, oh, 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 he's got to be careful. Oh, now he's got it going. Okay, he's doing it right, yeah. Uh, this will be a first for me. I can't wait to try it. And how about you, Nomura-san? A tiger could get behind this, right? Yeah, without a doubt. A lot of work going into this. Maybe, maybe this is his key dish. Could be. You think so? <laughs> Winning pitch. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now back over to the Iron Chef's side, and he's now putting down raw crab meat onto the kimchi here. Yeah, marinated with kimchi, basically. Kajan here. I'd like to have this one here with plain rice. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yes. Oh, yes, that sounds okay, delicious. Okay, and now look at the challenger. Okay, we'll go back. Yeah, I'm not crazy about hot items. You're not? Uh, I can't eat hot food. I didn't know that. The one thing I can't eat is red chili. Ouch. <laughs> okay, with this one, go ahead. Here in the Challenger's Bowl, he has combined a mixture of honey, fromage bran, and passion fruit puree. Okay. And Cointreau. And Challenger EO is over at the ice cream maker now and crossing the halfway mark. 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. King Crab battle in the second half. The supporters for the Challenger upstairs pump it up. A highly skilled, highly controlled French cuisine expert cross cuisine battling with the Iron Chef Japanese today. Fukuzan. Yes. When I mentioned to Iron Chef Morimoto that Nomura-san doesn't like red chili, he said, what? Oh boy, what am I gonna do now? I thought he loved hot food. He looked a bit shocked and a little dejected. <laughs> Can't blame him. You have that look, Nomura-san, like you like hot food. Yeah, I eat mostly anything, but red chili is the one item I'm just not crazy about. Fukuzan. Go ahead, big fella. Yeah, I spoke to the challenger about Nomura-san who said, Along with my boss, Shima Murasan, I'm a fan of his style of managing the team based on data. I've done my homework. I've researched what he likes and dislikes. I knew he didn't like hot food, and there's no way I'm going to make anything spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he pick that Talk up? about yeah, a scouting he just knows report. what I like. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and for Guzan, go. Back on the Iron Chef side, we talked a little more about the crab liquid that he has in some soup bowls over here. Okay. These bowls here. I asked him what this was all about, and he explained if you've ever used crab before, you know that the crab liquid hardens naturally. I wanted to create something using that, but man, there's something wrong. It's not hardening at all. Huh. <laughs> well, what's the data say? You know, the Challenger's item is starting to look like a bean paste. Wow, yeah, that looks really powerful. Right here on EO's side. Yeah, the black rice. Black rice and cheese added. Grated mm -hmm. cheese and butter. 
Well, oh, risotto maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right here. Okay. With black rice too. Oh boy. Yes, yeah. I think it's already mixed in for Cuisant. Okay, now how will the king crab be used in this? Is it in already, the king crab? Oh. Ota told us. Okay, we already got that. Okay, so it is. Now the Iron Chef has Yuba bean curd boiling here. I love you. Now we're talking. Me too. That's uh, great. All right, a couple of Yuba fans. Fukuzan. Brought on board. Go ahead, Ota. The ingredients being stuffed into these Yuba bean curd skins are minced crab meat, peanut oil, egg yolk, sesame seed oil, salt and pepper, sucking cornstarch. Okay, and a twist and tie operation commencing. Ooh, wow. this one is mouth watering to me. Iron Chef's getting you back on his side now. <laughs> <laughs> Nomura-san, Nagasaki-san, both of you fired up about this one. Oh, yes. Now, let's take a look Wait. at the challenger. You see this? You are right, partner. He grilled it. Yeah. Minutes to go. And what's he using here? Is it charcoal? I can't tell. Yes, it is charcoal. Oh, okay. All right, had charcoal, to be. Yeah. Charcoal and char-broiled king crab. A lot of folks can imagine what this will taste like. But remember, he's added some herbs in there for a touch of French to his grill grilled creation. Yeah, but wait a minute. What's the Iron Chef doing then? The ingredients that he had before. Fukuzan? Oh. Yes. He, he's adding the boiled, dry, granulated crab meat liquid here. Okay, he's oh. coated it on. Oh. Okay, so this will taste salty with a, a good body oh, to it. Oh my, crab essence on crab. Yeah, but, you know, the question is, how is he going to cook this, though? A lot of steps so far just to get up to this point. Yeah. Fukuzan? Yes. Hey, Oda, hang on just a second here. If we can look at the challenger. Oh, he's rolling them into balls. Remember what we said earlier? It's a croquette. Yes, and what else? Right, the flour is on the other side at the ready, too. I like the size, too. It's like bite-sized. Yeah. You like them that way, huh? Yeah, they're small and cute. <laughs> All right, now Morimoto's hunkered down over the plates. Now, this has hardened or not? It may have hardened a little bit. Has it? Hmm. Kind of like gelatin, a jelly it substance. It is very yeah. colorful. It looks Ooh. delectable Fukuzan? with that crab there, yes. Yeah, I was just going to say that when I asked the Iron Chef how this was was turning out, he replied, so, so, but the crab liquid has started to harden up. If it hadn't worked, I know people would have said, great idea, but poor execution. Wow. But it is a bold stroke of imagination by the Iron Chef. Yeah, I agree. I've never seen a chef do this. You haven't? No. All right, and now back here on the Challenger side, the grilled king crab, and they are now starting to crack them open over there. Yeah, he's making it easier to eat, splitting them up. The meat inside there. Some of it still looks a little rare. Mm. Actually, I think that is the way to go, though. Splitting them, making them easier to extract that delicious meat. I think I saw a sauce for that. You did? Oh, uh -huh. really? Yeah, like a vinegar sauce. Hmm. Oh. Well, then, vinegar. Did you mention he's good at using vinegar, Doc? You did say that? Yeah, he's got many techniques. And let's see, is this it here? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, go. This bowl contains red wine vinegar, sherry vinegar, olive oil, red and green bell peppers, and a little salt and pepper mixed in there. Well then, did you mention that he's good at using vinegar? You did say that, right, Doc? Yeah, he has many techniques. All right, and let's see here. This is oh, yeah, there it is. Go. Yeah, this bowl contains red wine vinegar, sherry vinegar, olive oil, red and green bell peppers, and a uh, little salt and pepper mixed in there. All right, thanks. Mm. And now the cream crab croquettes, the bite-sized ones, now being deep fried on EO's side, getting the treatment there, and. Still on his side, let's move on over. This is it, oh, the sauce pretty. adding to the cued crab. To Sounds tasty too, and 15 wow. minutes left. That looks to be done. Go, big fella. Onto this crab meat, the challenger has poured a combination of red wine vinegar and sherry vinegar, and when I asked him about combining the two, he said, well, just one type of vinegar would be too flat. By using two or more, again, you get the multiplying effect of sourness, a okay. more complex flavor. This combination is an original of mine, he said. Resorting to his secret sauce. Mm. And gradually, we're getting a clearer sense of the dishes that they'll take in their final form. <laughs> the Iron Chef is finally using the crab fluid salt. He's going to fry over there. Yeah. Without any batter? Or? That's okay, but the crab salt could come off then, though. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, what, what could he do? I think he should add something sort of adhesive to it, make it stick. Keep the crab essence on crab all together. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. About your concern that the crab salt might come off while frying, he told me that there's no reason to worry about that. He says that he's had that crab salt on there for quite a while and the flavor has already penetrated the meat. Back to you. Okay. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, I see some nice looking crab there. Yeah, and there are some remaining. Yes, some of it remains and now the challenger. Oh, risotto. With the black oh. rice and crab? Shaving it in a ring mold. Mm -hmm. oh, Doc, mm -hmm. is this kind of a trendy thing now to be using black rice? Well, in the past, red rice and black rice were fairly commonly used, but nowadays it's in a revival period. Okay. And some areas have started producing it again. Okay. It's mm. a lot like glutinous rice, very chewy. Oh, okay, yeah. well, this is risotto for sure. 
And one of EO's assistants now putting something down onto the plate next to it. This plate's more like a boat. <laughs> Is it like for one person? Long oh, nice. plates and, and they're some colorful grilled king crabs split open oh, for easy pickings. Look at that. And the croquette is on. That's there, right? And croquette on the rice. Oh, I didn't think about this. So one long plate to hold all of his dishes, is that it? And the sausage goes down to right here on top of some greens. The cleanup order in the lineup, you know, like in baseball, Nomoto-san, let's score some runs. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I think the Iron Chef has finished his kimchi. Oh, really? All right, let's get back over there, check it out. The Iron Chef's kimchi, hot right, and spicy looking. Right, the hot looking. spicy vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, not so mouth-watering for me. <laughs> Sorry, Skip. <laughs> so your score will probably be higher for this dish, you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey, here's his yuba. Oh, yuba oh. soup. Looks good from here. Oh, I second that. And now it looks like Morimoto's dishes are sticking more or less to Asian style cooking today. And you know, here's that deep fried one, a closer look. Yeah, if you notice, he's using the crab shells very creatively he as sure well. sure is. Good presentation. Did he fry the shells? I believe so. Is that how you get that sheen right there? Well, mm. heating them makes it a deeper red color, yeah. Well, they are a gorgeous looking red right there. Now back to Challenger EO's side. And yes, here's another one. Okay, sea urchin roe. Sea urchin roe topping for this chawan mushi, a Japanese style broth flavored egg custard. The appearance, the presentation of it, slightly Western. And Chef Chimamoto up there has had a lot to smile about all through this battle from up in the royal box. Smiles of approval for EO's work today. <laughs> Three minutes to go. All right, now three minutes left. A new one going down here on the Iron Chef side. He has on the rice something green and. Oh, uh, I get it. Crab eggs. Okay. Oh, Shukisan, yes. This does contain crab eggs. See? Also, okay. Japanese sake, crab meat, and dried seaweed from Korea. Toppings mm, for sounds rice. good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good place to end up right there on the rice. And the Iron Chef has his dish of the day here: grilled gravel to go. It what? looks like. <laughs> Oh my. Looks like gravel rather than... Now, what's oh, happening? Oh. Oh. Flaming the stadium. Yeah, with whiskey there. Mm. Oh goodness. Check this out on replay. Wow. Wow. Mm. That was incredible, that yeah. first burst right there yeah. by the Iron Chef. All right, here's the gravel. This isn't road repair either. Uh, okay. The kelp okay. rupt crab. Ah, uh, this is to cook those items. Uh, mm. maybe. Okay, uh -huh. cooking it in this. Yeah, I really thought he would steam them, but I think I was wrong. Well, I'll tell you, the gravel can get pretty hot. Yeah, it would be just like sweet potatoes, stone grilled. Oh, okay. yes, exactly. Gravel grilled. And that crab <laughs> is getting stoned right now. <laughs> and the challenger is, what, oh, ice cream with this. Does this contain crab, by the way? Yes, where is the crab? That's the question. The operative one here with this theme ingredient. Kusan. Go ahead. Yeah, you see these black plates on the challenger side? Oh, these black yes. ones right here in front, I believe, will be served. As you see them, this dish is finished now. But why black dishes? The challenger says king crabs live deep in the sea, and this is the image of a king crab sitting at the bottom of the ocean. You won't uh, necessarily see the shape of the crab here, but this item is bursting with crab flavor. All right, it's got the flavor uh, then. Okay. And for Kusan? Yes. In the ice cream? About these vegetables, the broccoli and asparagus and so on have been boiled in a special crab broth for quite some time now. Oh, really? Well, it will taste like crab then. Right. So it'll clear the theme. Okay, the flavor of king crab imparted, imported to the vegetables, if you will. Okay, go. a minute to go now. The Iron Chef men at work on the gravel. The Challenger supporters led by Shimamoto. Their voices rise, cheering their man, Io. Late gravel work still going on to get it just right on the Iron Chef side. The French cuisine virtuoso has really taken it to the Iron Chef today. King crab, as the Challenger noted from the deep waters, I guess it's go. only fitting. He too has shown a lot of depth in his skills, knowledge, and cooking and the way he's carried himself today. And they've put a lot of work into this long plate, the one they're working on right here. Yeah, it's the equivalent of three dishes on one. Now 15 seconds left. They've got a lot of different dishes on EO's side to throw at the Iron Chef. Go. Morimoto's well aware, twice before, Royal Park Hotel chefs have come in here and Five marched seconds. out of here winners. So if, three, if he's off, even two, by just a little, one. he could be on the bubble. The final seconds tick down and that's it. The cooking's done. The King Crab battle is over. How was that hour? Oh, so short. I did my best, but I had two accidents in a row. But mm -hmm. I'm satisfied with what I've made here. So it went according to plan? To a degree. Will you win? That's what I had in mind in the kitchen. Good luck. Yeah. How'd it go? I'm tired. I'll bet. Yes. Some turned out better than I thought, and I had some mishaps too. Yeah? Today... Yes? 
well, it should be okay. <laughs> Challenger EO is offering three dishes. First, king crab hors d'oeuvre. Broth taken from king crab is his pride in this hors d'oeuvre. You can't see any actual crab itself, but its flavor and aroma delightfully dance everywhere in this dish. Second, King Crab Royale, a masterpiece combining crab broth, eggs, and fresh cream. The sweetness of sea urchin roe pulls out the top-notch King Crab's flavor. Last is King Crab Quartet. First, King Crab Sausage with truffles dipped in a Perigou sauce containing crab broth. Croquette and risotto using black rice. The chewy black rice is a perfect match with the taste and aroma of the King of Crabs. And the main item, grilled crab, bringing his A-game, a, a multi-vinegar and basil oil sauce. The complex sourness of the sauce heightens the taste of the crab. Finally, a salad with his own crab broth-based dressing, refreshing while confirming the pleasant aroma of crab. Iron Chef Morimoto counters with five dishes. First, king crab salad with salty crab meat liquid gelling at the bottom of the plate. He chose to use the natural saltiness of the crab itself to speak for the richness of the ocean. Second, fried king crab. Crab meat liquid was boiled then fried resulting in powdery crystals which he rubbed into the crab before deep frying. The simple look belies intricate preparation. Third, king crab and yuba soup. Dried scallops and crab leg legs, a luxurious combination used for the broth. The yuba bean curd texture conveys a sense of hospitality. Stone grilled king crab. By wrapping the crab meat with kelp, it also gets a slight effect of steaming, absorbing the flavor of the kelp. Last is king crab rice and kimchi, a simple way to end the meal. Crab meat, eggs, and sake were blended with sesame seeds and dried Korean seaweed also added. The topping is excellent with plain rice. And crab meat cured by kelp wrapping and packaged in kimchi is offered as a splendid garnish. The kitchen at Tokyo's Royal Park Hotel, home to numerous champions and medal winners, under the direction of Grand Chef Mitsuo Shimamura, including today's challenger, Tetsuji Io. The French cuisine expert chooses to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient, the granddaddy of them all, from the deep blue king crab. Challenger Io inputs the data, outputs an elegant looking set of three dishes. Iron Chef Morimoto fights back his way with his five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Hiromi Nagasaku, Hanshin Tigers manager Katsuya Nomura, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes of Challenger Io. Well, in the first hors d'oeuvre, I tried to create a crab dish without showing any visible signs of crab. We know it's crab because we were told so, but even if I didn't know, I see the shadow of the king crab, the aroma in my mouth. I agree. I ate just thinking it was only vegetables. I was quite surprised. Delicious. Yes, right. Starting from this, the crab starts to appear on stage. Mm. It's crab. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he'd make a good catcher. <laughs> Slowly but surely you get the hitter in the hole. <laughs> what about your team, the Tigers? <laughs> I know the Tigers won't do much this season. Well, what can I say, but we're going for the pennant. Oh, really? Mm. That's not lip service, is it? In my heart of hearts, okay. yes. They'll be in the top three at least. I hope right, you do there's good. there's no mistake. Hosoki-san is guaranteeing hmm. it. She's the only one who can see the future. Yeah, that's right. So your reputation is on the line as well. Yes, I'm staking my career on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good. The first mouthful I thought was very thick, but it's not greasy at all. It has a very firm flavor. It's really crab, and it's very good. Oh no, vegetables last. And please start from the very right with the sausage. Sausage, and then what? Sausage, risotto, grilled crab, and okay. salad. Okay. 
You know, this is like the Hanshi and Tigers. <laughs> Good analogy. There is simply no unity among the players on the team. <laughs> it's really tough to know how to evaluate this. As tasters, yes, there's a preference, but the flavors are each wanting something more in each one, I think. That's how I feel. Well, uh, I would have preferred one of each, you know, served separately, you know, instead of being all together like that. Yeah. I was visually entertained and the flavors were good. I liked this dish. And now at the plate, the dishes of Iron Chef Morimoto. Please scoop the sauce with your spoons and use it as a dressing over the vegetables and cram. Because you did nothing to the raw liquid, I thought it was going to smell a little fishy. Oh, no, no fishy smell at all. Right, right. This uh, does fit uh, what I like, you know? Chefs tend to overuse seasonings, I think, but this is so natural. That's how I feel. Just salt alone. The crab fluid you tasted as gelatin before, I boiled that and made a powder. The salt and the gelatin are from the same source, right? Yes. Well, by frying them, it right. heightens the flavor of this item. It's delicious. This salt is not just plain salt. It carries the aroma of the crab. It's not an unpleasant smell, it's a profound salt. Morimoto's boldness and fine calculation are well, well balanced, coexisting in this dish. And here's what they've been waiting for, the stone-grilled king crab. <laughs> the aroma's gone, it's overdone, flavor is gone. I think it's your taste buds. Oh, you think so? <laughs> You mean your taste buds are better than mine? Well, I do sense the aroma of the kelp. It's supposed to taste like crab, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> uh, go on, you two. Here, let me try a piece of yours. Hey, this is not a cheap restaurant. <laughs> Dole, how is it? Ah, this one is good. See, it's what I said. But that one is terrible. It's all overcooked and hard. Yes, it's very simple, and the crab is straightforward, and the salt is well controlled in the meat, but I did want to try something more unusual, but the taste was very good. It's difficult creating variety with crabs, I know what you mean. so I decided mm -hmm. to take the orthodox approach. I uh, do love crabs, you know, any kind of crab, yeah, but... Uh, Somehow I, I haven't been crazy about king crab uh, so far, but uh, I think my eyes were opened here to the real world of king crabs. Thank you very much. The aroma of king crab, pleasant, but so is that a victory. We'll find out. Today, another award-winning chef from the Royal Park Hotel trying to be their third one to claim victory in Kitchen Stadium. Challenger Eo coolly calculating his way with the King Crab. Indeed, the man who sits at the right hand of Grand Chef Shimamoto showed his very high caliber. Iron Chef Morimoto pushed to the limit. More exploration, a classic confrontation. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin Morimoto Masaharu. It's the Iron Chef. Morimoto wins it. He dodges the arrow shot by the Royal Park, the leaders of French cuisine in Japan. At first, Io appeared stunned by the verdict. His well-calculated dishes are beaten by Morimoto's bold, explorative approach. The Iron Chef victory and a draining one today. All right, the score is Kano, 1817, the challenger. Nagasaku, 1918, Iron Chef. Nomura, 1615, Iron Chef. Hosoki, 1817, Iron Chef. Three to one for Morimoto. And now a modest winning streak of three with this King Crab win for the King of Neo-Japanese. Victory smelling sweet today for Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto.
The Iron Chef preserved the natural flavor of the crab by not dressing it up too much. Our style is to create additional flavor to heighten the natural taste. You could say that's always our mission, and I think we reaffirmed that. I thoroughly enjoyed this day.